What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff Olick and today we're going to be going over our A arpeggio shapes. <laughs> All right, if you were with us for the last video, uh, we played in the key of B and we played all these uh, chord shapes. Right? And we did our sus2 shapes and all that stuff. Uh, well, today we're gonna take that shape, the A shape, and we're gonna move it uh, elsewhere on the neck and we are going to go over some arpeggios. So, Today let's play in the key of E. I like to choose simple keys when we're learning uh, new stuff, really common keys, just so we don't get overwhelmed with weird fingerings and stuff that you're not going to use as often. So um, let's go up, let's play in the key of E today. Uh, so if you remember we take our A shape, we free up our first finger and play the rest of it with our other fingers. And then uh, let's move up to the key of E. So if you were with us in episode one, we learned how to um, find any note on the neck. So our root is on the A string. And so we're just gonna walk that up to E. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So that's the seventh fret. First finger on the seventh fret. You have your uh, ring finger on the ninth fret, uh, barring across the D, G, and B strings. It sounds like that. So, for the arpeggio though, we're gonna play it, we're gonna start it with our middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string. And then we're gonna use our first finger on the sixth fret of the D string. And then <clears throat> ring finger on the ninth fret of the D string as well. Uh, then on the G string and on the B string. And then our first finger on the seventh, uh, seventh fret of the E string. So it'll go. And then back down. And then you could hit the low string on the seventh fret. And then back to the one, so. Oops. All right, let's play that in a couple of, on a couple of different chords, right? So I like to use our one, four, and five chords a lot. Um, so seventh fret, and we'll go up to the twelfth fret with our middle finger. Same shape. That's an A major arpeggio. And two more frets to a B major. And then back to the one. All right, so here we go. Let's go through it slow. Now there's a couple things that are a little tricky with this voicing. It's this, when you bar this, kind of trying to mute each note and play them separately. But it's kind of difficult to do. So just, you know, get used to your finger rolling across the strings. And so it kind of lifts up the other strings as you leave it. Yeah? Okay. Um, let's play that in a sequence. So let's go in groups of three. So 7th uh, fret, 6th fret, ninth fret, and then back one. 6th fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, ninth fret, 7th fret. 
Right, so it's groups of three. Back down. Let's go up to the A string or the the A chord. Let's go groups of four. Back up to the A chord. B chord. Let's leave it there for that. Um, now let's change it to minor, right? It's gonna look just a little bit different. So go back to your major shape, stand your ring finger up, and play, uh, so it'll be first finger, ring finger, pinky, or your middle finger will go on the eighth fret, and then uh, your first finger will bar to the high E string as well. For that arpeggio, you're gonna start, the minor arpeggio, you're gonna start with your first finger. So, so it'll be seventh fret uh, with your first finger, eighth fret with your pinky, then uh, ninth fret with your ring finger, ninth fret with your pinky, eighth fret with your middle finger, and seventh fret with your first finger. So back down, first finger, seventh fret, eighth fret, with your pinky, ninth fret with your ring finger, tenth fret with your pinky, seventh fret with your first finger, and then reach across and get the seventh fret, the low seventh fret with your first finger. So, walking through it. Up to the A chord. some cool sweeping things that you can do with this voicing as well uh, it's a little harder on the major side of things and a little easier on the minor but uh, let's grab pinky on the 12th fret we're adding a note to the arpeggio the top note so it'll be pinky on the 12th fret and let's do the major shape first this is the more difficult of the two uh, so pinky on the 12th fret upstroke and you're gonna pull off to the 7th fret and then play it with your ring finger and middle finger upstroke on the ninth fret and then downstroke, downstroke, downstroke on the, so it'll be ninth fret, ninth fret, seventh fret, so. And then if you go up to the A chord, it'll be on the 17th fret uh, with your pinky, same shape. 
now slide up two more frets. And then back to the 12th fret. That's kind of, that one's a little difficult for, it gets a little scrunched up right here with your fingers. But if you turn it to minor, it's not as scrunched, but the stretch is a little further for your pinky. So it'll be 12th fret to pull off to the 7th, 8th fret, 9th fret. And then up to the A chord. And then B chord. B minor chord, A minor chord, E minor chord. That's like a Yngwie Malmsteen sweeping thing, so. All right guys, that's our arpeggios for the day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have any questions. And uh, I'll hopefully have this all tabbed out and ready to go on the website. There'll be a link in the description box. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, share the video. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank you for tuning in. See you in the next video. We'll probably go over the, uh, the A scale shapes um, in the next video and do another little jam video where you can jam along on some ideas and solo with all of the ideas we've done so far. So, all right, look forward to that. Um, see you guys in the next video.